Hey guys, welcome to Fish in the Midwest. I have uh, got some good news and some bad news to uh, announce today. Um, the I'll start off with the bad news. Bad news is I can no longer make uh, lures because of the fact that it's just way too expensive. Um, well, way over my head. I was promising people too many things. Um, I found out, you know, I don't have the money to do it. I've got to focus more on the money po towards my videos. I don't even have a tripod. Um, you know, I've got my camera set up on a chair on top of my bed, so. Um, it just goes to show that I'm kind of low on money as far as uh, video making, fishing equipment goes, personally fishing equipment goes. So I'll probably have to postpone the lure making um, until maybe next year or later in the winter. So I apologize for that. Um, but the good news is, is I really still want to make something for you guys. I really want to do, do something besides videos. Um, and I found something that I could do and I could balance and I wouldn't have to worry about money. Um, and that would be making uh, reels even better. I, I want to I wanna take reels and I want to boost them up. I want to put uh, you know better handles on them, better spools, better side panels, everything. I just want to make it look better. I want to make it you know feel better. I want to make it go faster. Um, you know I, I might, I'm even gonna be painting. Uh, I've got like black paint right here. I'm experimenting with some paint. Um, this right here is a uh, hybrid Daiwa 100SH and a Daiwa 100 STH, which is the Strike Force and the Mega Force. I've uh, taken these two, um, two reels and added them together. As you can see, I've taken that little, um, little cast control right there, changed the color up a little bit. It's minor, but still a really cool looking thing. I've also changed the handle on here. It goes much faster. This handle just totally speeds up. As you can see, I've got some black tape there just to show how fast it goes. And this thing really changes how it feels. Um, extremely fast. Almost feels like I got an extra ball bearing, a couple extra ball bearings in here. Changed the star drag and I made it much lighter, adding some of the carbon pieces into this, um, which is really great. I feel that uh, I want to do this with a lot of other reels. A lot of people are edging away from those cheaper reels and I want to um, boost them up. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking any request from a retail price reel for $50. I don't want to take anything over that because I'm reliable for something um, that is really expensive and if I mess up on it because I'm just getting started still then it would be my fault and I don't want to do that. So any retail uh, reel that's under uh, $50 I'll do Shimano's, um, Abu Garcia's, Daiwa's, uh, Quantum's, those are the main kind of ones I'll do because I've got the pieces so far and what I'll do is I'll ask you know what's your price range? Let's say you give me $30. I got $30 to spend on this reel. You give me the basics, what you want me to put here. A new reel handle, a new spool, something like that, and I'll get it all done. I'll even do paintings, uh, paints on here, some different styles like electric um, looks to it, you know, uh, maybe even fire marks. Um, and I'll be doing the black uh, paint for free. Anyways, give me a personal message letting you guys know if you want me to customize your reel. Hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy our next episode of Fishing the Midwest.